What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at a really interesting device. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook, you've already seen these boxes and you probably know what's in here. So that's all kinds of incentive for those of you that don't follow me in those places. I will link them down in the description so you can conveniently do that. But anyways, this of course is the Razer Edge, which is a full-fledged gaming tablet. This is the pro version. You've got a dedicated graphics card or what they call a discrete graphics card inside. You're going to be able to play legitimate games on something very slim and light in terms of what it's able to do. Obviously, it's not going to be as slim and light as something like an iPad or an Android tablet, but that's because this is a little bit different in form and in function. Now, you can, you know, load up Steam and play legitimate games on here. I mean, you could play all kinds of different games. Considering that the res is not huge on here, it means that you're going to be able to play back games in fairly reasonable frame rates using just this tablet and potentially the game controller if you're interested. Now, there are a number of items that I showed you at the beginning here, three different boxes, in fact, and in order to keep things kind of clean, we're going to be featuring just the gaming tablet in this particular episode, in this particular unboxing, followed by the accessories and a test and a sort of review, if you will. Yes, I know I don't usually do reviews, but in this case, I'm going to because this is a, such a different device and you know, not that many people are going to have their chance to get their hands on it, so I'm going to give you guys some feedback as well which I know you've been asking me to do, so hit that thumbs up button down below if you do want to see my thoughts and more of a review style video on this device. So let's take a closer look at the bottom of the unit. That's where you're going to see two down firing speakers, which are surprisingly loud for a tablet. You'll also find the proprietary connector here that's going to be used for charging the device as well as interfacing with your multimedia dock, which I do have here and I will be showing you more information on in the future. On the front of the device is where you'll find your Windows key, that's for accessing all those wonderful Windows 8 features. And then on the front along the top is where you'll see your forward-facing HD camera and array microphones. There's also an ambient light sensor hidden on the bezel. Now on the top is where the remainder of the buttons are. You have your power button followed by a couple of interesting buttons. One is a dedicated keyboard button as well as an orientation lock. Then you have your volume rocker over here followed by your 3.5 mil headphone out slash microphone in and then a USB 3 port. So a lot to look at on the top. Towards the back is where you'll see the exhaust vents. That's because this device does create a little bit more heat than your average tablet, but that's kind of to be expected after all. In this case, you're going to be playing graphics intense games unlike you really do on consumer level tablets. This thing is really a different piece of gear. It's kind of hard to compare it to an iPad or even an Android tablet or really anything. It's incredibly unique. Now, you're going to get a little bit of paperwork from Razer as well. So a quick start guide to get you up and running, warranty information. You're going to get a cleaning cloth so you can at least keep the screen clean momentarily. This is a touchscreen device though, so that's probably not going to last long. That's just the nature of the business. You've also got a couple of stickers from Razer so you can rep the brand and taking one last glance at the manual. You can see it's sort of dedicated to getting you started with Windows 8. Not too much info in there. You'll have to go to the website for that. There is a power adapter included, of course, to charge the device. You have an extension cable here, so you'll be a fair distance from the wall while using it. One thing to mention at this point, the battery is not that great on this device. You're getting a lot of power in a slim package, so that's to be expected. But you can improve the battery life using the gamepad controller that I'll be giving you more info on that shortly. At this point, it's also a good thing to mention, or a good time to mention, sorry, that you can check out pricing and availability on this as well as the other components down in the description of this video. I will warn you, this is not cheap. So if you're a little bit squeamish about high price tags, I would say avoid that link, but otherwise go ahead and check it out. You know, anytime you're dealing with super unique devices in what they're offering and the package they're offering it in, you expect to pay a higher price. This is really a toy. It's a high-end toy for people with a big budget. That's just, everybody should expect that. I mean, everybody pretty much knows it and Razer has been known for making high-end toys in the past and this one 
one is absolutely no different. Now, if you do add the extra accessories, I suppose it becomes a little bit more functional. I'm thinking specifically about the multimedia dock, which will also be featured in the next video, uh, it, because in that sense, it can sort of turn into an HTPC. You can dock it to your television, and it can be a console as well as a video player. You could stream HD content from it, YouTube. I mean, you could do a lot of things with it. You can also hook up a keyboard and mouse and just use it like a regular computer. That's totally up to you. So from that sense, it is a little bit diverse, and you can sort of understand the higher price tag, but I'll go into more detail about that when I do my actual recap video. This is just the unboxing. As you guys know, I don't like to split up the videos. I have made long videos in the past, but in this case, I thought because there are a lot of consumers that will probably buy the tablet on its own without the gamepad or the multimedia dock, it would be, you know, it would make sense to split them up in this particular case. Uh, so anyways, this is your quick setup. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. As I said before, tons more coming up, including including the official gamepad as well as the dock in the next video. Don't miss it. Thumbs up down below and I'll catch you guys real soon. Later.